So we're gonna be taking our frozen lobster tail and we're gonna be dipping it in some cold water just so it can unthaw. And you can really just leave it as long as you want depending on how frozen it is. Now we're taking our super colossal shrimp and I absolutely love these shrimp. They're so good. They're also super big and this one shrimp can fit in the palm of my hand. Now it's time for us to prep the veggies and I'm gonna be using tomatoes, sliced mushrooms, spinach, and also some onions. You wanna make sure that you are rinsing every single thing that you're gonna be cooking. It's very, very important to rinse everything and make sure that it's clean. So I'm just rinsing all of my veggies. After everything is nice and clean, you want to cut everything in half. You can leave your veggies whole if you like, but I kind of like mine sliced up a bit. So I'm just cutting everything. And it should look something like this. This literally looks so good, y'all. I didn't even want to cook this. I just wanted to leave this on the counter and let it just look so beautiful and colorful and just uh after your seafood has been unthawed you want to season it and just let it marinate in the refrigerator these are all of the things that's going to be needed for the pasta now you want to boil some water once it starts to boil you want to add some sea salt and this is really just going to help season the noodles and it's also going to help the noodles cook a lot quicker I'm adding the noodles to the water and you want to let the noodles sit and boil for 10 to 12 minutes. Now I'm adding some olive oil to the pan so that we can prepare the sauce. First we're going in with our onions and the onions is really just going to create a nice start for all of our veggies, it's gonna make everything just be a lot more flavorful. Now we're adding our mushrooms, and this is also gonna add a lot of flavor as well. And after you add these, you wanna stir it and cook it until the mushrooms are browny. Next, I've added the spinach and also I've added the tomatoes. Now it's time for the basil sauce. Guys, the sauce is literally what makes this whole entire pasta taste so, so good. So get the basil sauce when you make this. But I'm really just circling around um, all of my veggies and the sauce until the sauce is nice and watery and loose. That's how you know it's completely warm. While our sauce is slowly cooking, we're going to add our lobster tails in the oven and we're going to be broiling it for about five minutes. We're now going to be cooking our shrimp for as long as you please. I kind of like to keep them on for about seven minutes. Seven to ten minutes is good for me. As you can see, our lobster tails are complete. I just sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top of them. Well guys, this is the finished product. I added the noodles to the sauce and I sprinkled some basil and parsley on top. And this is it guys. I really, really love this pasta. I'm not a chef at all whatsoever. I actually just started cooking for real, for real. 
But guys, this was super easy and it was so good. It's vegan friendly if you don't eat meat. Even if you do eat meat, feel free to add some chicken or some steak. And I'm pretty sure it, it will be just as good.